So this will be one of our first vlogs for our new channel. We we both had our separate channels uh, since way back. So mine, yung Chef Edward, and then that girl Trixie. So now we want to make new content, and this first video will be more about a Q&A on paano makakuha ng lote. Kasi marami kasi nagtatanong sa amin. So here, we'll try to explain as best as we can. Hi, buddy. Okay, so... Okay, no, huwag mo hilahin yun. Hinihila niya ako. Manny, come here. Pupunta tayo lagoon. Papakita natin sa kanila kung saan yung lagoon. Uy! Hari ka na! So, let me give you guys a tour of our backyard. Charot! Hindi. Malapit lang to sa lot namin. So, this is actually at the back. Let's see. Yeah. Meron kaming malaking pond. Pakita ko sa inyo, meron siyang parang like a dock. Ang ko alam mo ng tawag dito. Basta yan, may ganito siya. So, you can go here. This video is not sponsored by this coffee place. <laughs> it's our first ever vlog and we actually wanted to discuss a lot of things about our home kasi nga, about our nest kasi marami nagtatanong tungkol sa um, bahay na pinapatayin namin like um, paano kami, how did we end up getting our lot, um, sino yung mga architect namin, how did we find this and all that. So, um, syempre we are very generous with the information that we want to share to our friends but paminsan kasi di ba parang para isahan na lang, panoorin yun na. We're gonna tell you guys how we ended up buying our lot. Where do we start? I'll start with ano, um, may isa nang property. Uh, I invested in a condo mga 7 years ago, 8 years ago. Tagal na rin uh, sa Pasig. So, ano, hinuhulugan ko na siya, paunti-unti. Then, I, I live there most of my, ano, um, most of my life kung 6 years Most of your bachelor years. Most of my bachelor years dun lang ako sa condo na yun. Um, then eventually, I met Trixie. She moved in. We got married. Uh, the space became too small kasi one bedroom lang yun. We, we tried to sell it for, oh my gosh, ang tagal. It took almost a year to Actually, sell because of the pandemic. Year. Kasi, uh -oh. ano, um, we placed it in the market. And then while that was happening, nagaharap na rin tayo ng lote. Uh -oh. Actually, hindi. Hindi kami nagaharap initially ng lote. Nagaharap kami, nag-start kami with... Kondo them, muna. Na, yeah. Where we live now, nag-check kami dun kung ano yung mga pwede namin bilhin. And then, na-realize namin, it will cost us. I think more than eight figures or eight figures if we buy a two bedroom and we like. Oh, does it make sense? It doesn't parang, make sense. Tapos for malit us. lang yun na condo lang yun malit yeah. na two bedroom. Tapos million million na yung gagastosin mo. Parang kalokohan na. Yeah. So that's when we realized. Okay, I think we have to look at at other options. We looked in passing na mga RFO, mga ready for occupancy na bahay. Ah, so, sa mga village village yeah, doon. Yeah, kasi sabi namin na, we still gonna live in the city and then, oh. yun nga, gusto namin talaga to live in Pasig. And then, ang dami namin tinignan. And what we realized is that most of the ready for occupancy homes, which are which is around mga, I don't know, mga 170 to 200 square meters yung floor area as a whole. Tapos yung mga lot area, parang 100 to 150. Tapos sobrang mahal. Hindi namin siya tayo. So, na, sabi namin, renovate ka rin. renovate kami, which will cost us more than, I guess, 2 million or 3 million. So, Wait. parang mas mapapagasas pa kami. Yung pinakamaganda ng nakita namin, pinakapasok sa budget kahit pa paano, um, was in Rizal. Layo. Rizal talaga. Akit kang bundok. Parang tinignan lang namin. Kasi yun nga, outside NCR wasn't really an option. Yes. Pero nung nakita nga namin na shock sa city, parang mahal na yata. So let's start looking outside. Uh -oh. We started looking in the south. Oo. Sobrang wala. Ang dami <laughs> kasing nagsadya sa amin. Sobrang dami Tingin namin dito sa south. Uh -oh. Iba yung buhay dito. Yeah. Buhay provinsa. Ganyan, And ganyan. And ako, I'm from the south. So, mm. sabi ko, sige, why not? And we always go there. Tapos, yun nga, wala. As in, sabi namin, kailangan, kailangan ko siyang ibenta. Three times. Para lang makabili kami ng property. Tapos, anong mahal? 
Okay, okay, okay. Ginto. Guys, ginto. As mentioned earlier, we were trying to sell the condo while we were looking for a property. And at this point, ito sa kwento na to, wala pa yung, wala pa yung buyer ng condo. So parang... Akala namin, madali makadispose. No. Sa totoo lang. No. No. Kasi... No. Uh, inapot kami ng one year plus, a year and a half almost, to one sell the condo and get the lot that we want. Buong pandemic, pabalik-balik kami yeah. look, looking so for lots. So our pandemic yun yung, life was like looking for a lot. Yun yung weekends Instead. namin, di ba? Lockdown. So talagang yung pinakabiyahe namin, going to open spaces to lots para tumingin. Um, yun ang pinaka naging gimmick namin. Naging one every, with nature. Every weekend, sa ano kami, nasa Rizal area kami. So kung saan saan na kami tumingin, ang dami na namin tinignan na lots, um, villages, and all that. Initially, Ang gusto ko ako mismo is that I wanted the view kasi yung unit, yung condo that he owned, may city view, maganda. So, sabi ko, ang ganda kung may city view. And then, there's this village that we looked at na meron siyang city view. It's really nice. So, sabi ko, okay, kung city view, dapat siguro mga overlooking na lot sa so, na natin, di ba? Eh, parang nag in kami ng architect and engineers na wait, actually, mas mahirap magpatayo kung overlooking kasi syempre, fulfill pa natin yung lote, ano pa natin, parang ano yun? De, yung structural, yung structure, ano niya, yung, yung, yung na integrity niya, kailangan tibayan nila yung mga poste. So, cost sobrang wise, mahal mas mapapamahal. So, sabi namin, ah, okay, sige. And then, um, yun, titingin kami, as in, ang dami namin tinignan, and then we were supposed to get this lot. Tapos, nag- Sabi namin, okay, medyo lagpas sa budget, but I think this is for us. And then we got COVID. So, sabi namin din sa um, nagbebenta ng lot, na medyo, I can say ito ano, medyo weird lang yung gusto niyang terms with the uh, oh, payment. Parang ano, no cash lang daw, tapos kailangan isang basta, payment lang. Uh, basta in a certain basta, area lang magkikita. Oo, dun sa malayo sa probinsya lang na banko. Sabi basta, ko, I'm not going there. Yeah, it's weird. So, naka-COVID kami. So, we use COVID as an excuse to like, uh, wait lang, pwede bang ano muna. Mag magtatapos lang kami ng quarantine namin and then balikan ka namin. But we were set to look at that lot kasi nag pinatingin na namin sa feng shui and hmm. all that. And then, after we got COVID, we said, okay, let's look at the lot again. Pero may nakita si Ed na ang isang Facebook ad about Ito. Uh, lot. Yung nangyari, while we had COVID, na-target ako ng ad sa Facebook. Tapos sabi, oh, yung name ng village na tinitingnan na namin. It's like, oh, may available lots pa pala doon. Kala ko sobrang konti na lang. So, sakto, psycho, we get out of quarantine on ano, a certain day. Psycho, the day after, tignan na natin yung sa ad. Kinausap ko na yung broker na nagpa, ano, nagpa-ad. Sabi, sige, tour po kayo. Tapos nakita namin yung lot. Ito, ang ganda. Sabi ko, tapos ang mura. Sobrang below budget. Sabi ko, bakit mura? As in, parang never heard of. Yung pala, it just, it just entered the market. The owner is from, ano, uh, from the states, gusto lang dispose yung property. They they were selling it for a higher price. Eh, hindi nga gumalaw. Binabaan sobra. So chamba, de ba? Plus, yung palak kaya medyo malas daw siya kaya mura. Tumbok siya. Actually half, yeah, it's half tumbok. A third, maybe a third, yun on. Yeah. Yeah, a third of it is tumbok. But maganda yung parang fronting the lot. Ang maganda yung view. Pwede nyo nakikita na ba yung lot sa likod? Kasi yung harap nito. Maganda yung view. Kasi siya. Hindi siya overlooking ng city. Pero parang ano siya. Geo-reserve. Parang bundok. Yeah. So hindi na... Pati yung likod. Kita mo yun. May bundok. Yeah. So hindi na siya maharangan. So yun. The moment we got out of our city, sabi namin, sige, bisitahin natin yung lot. And then when we visited the lot nga, ang ganda. And then, nagtawag na kami ng Feng Shui. Nag-consult na kami sa kanila. Uh, and then, na-clinear nila. Sabi nila, uh, This is a okay. <laughs> Tapos, Swerte pa raw. Mag-ghost month. Mag-ghost month pa nun. So, parang, wow. Pre-nash namin lahat yung contract. Tumbok na. na Mag-ghost month pa. So, sabi namin, Sige, this is for us. This is for us. And Wait, then, sabi ni Feng Shui, Swerte siya kasi the road is hugging the lot. Oh, hindi siya talaga. Parang tumbok siya, yes. Pero ang tinitignan kasi yung kung saan yung daloy. Anyway, ang sabi lang niya, yung entrance ng bahay namin, i-facing east namin. Yeah, so yung main here. entrance. Yeah, which is... So, yung, 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 which uh, made, which made our drawing interesting. Yeah, which made the house design yeah. interesting. So, yun. And then now, uh, medyo maraming gusto yung lot kasi it's a very 
um, affordable lot. Like, yung price is sobrang ganda. So, nakipag-agawan kami. Literally, nakipag-agawan kami sa ibang tao. Mm-hmm. So, siya hinaboy niya yung talagang, hindi siya gumigising ng maaga. Pero gumising siya sobrang aga. Yes, para so, dito. Para sa golf sa para dito sa lote na to. I only wake up early for Uh-oh. golf and for important stuff. So, so, this so, is really important to us. So, ang sabi ng broker, mabait yung broker, sabi. Kasi na mauna dumating sa office namin yung that day. Then we will have to award it to them. Kasi fair is fair, di ba? And kung sino talaga una mag, mag-hain ng papeles. Yeah. Hain ng papeles, eh. So, nagahan niya talaga. Nagahan ko talaga. Sabi ko, kahit di pa buhay yung ano, diwa ko, dumiretso na ako doon. And their office is all the way in, ano, muhuwa. <laughs> di ba? It's taga-pasig kami. So, yeah. layo. Buti na lang pandemic. Wala masyadong traffic. Takbo ko doon. Yun. So, long story short, here it is. Here it is. Long story short, after this, how many minutes? Or not this year, um, we actually decided to get in, like, a place outside the city. Mainly because property in the city is really expensive. Hindi na kaya talaga. Hindi na talaga diba, kaya budget. Diba yung mga laging sa internet yung, how do Gen Z or Millennials get to afford uh, lots, diba? Well, you can't if it's in the city. You so can you really, if you're, like, rich and have generational wealth. you have generational wealth. <laughs> But we don't have we generational don't have wealth. We have like we have isang, our wealth. Isang kahit, isang <laughs> our wealth. wealth. So, sabi namin, you know what? We can live outside of the city, and it's still like near. Pare naman, we know how to drive. We walk out naman kami, and at the same time, it's not that far. People think it is far, but it's really not. And it's near the places that we usually work yeah. in. And sabi namin yung um, ambience, <laughs> yung ambience dito sa sa village na to. It's really, 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 really nice. Like, okay. Hindi mo mga salita for nature. like, for a second. Pakinda niya. Ayun. At saka yung lawnmower. Yeah. So, ganito dito. So, it's so peaceful. It's so quiet. I want to trade this. Like, Ang ganda. As in, kala mo sa Baguio, may mga pine tree. May mga... Yeah, mga hindi maraming may mga pine trees dito. You know, like, flame trees and all that. So, Fire tree, hindi flame tree, hindi naman mo. Fire tree, it's the same. It's not the same. So, yung, yung mood, yung aesthetic, hashtag aesthetic, yung village na to is really nice. And it's so relaxing. So, ako naman, I always work at home. And siya yung mas lumalabas ako. I'm really good in this area. And then, I mean, it's it's very family friendly. We see a lot of ano, um, families going around. The kanina nga nagbabay dito na pamilya. They're friendly. They said hi to us. Yeah. So, there. That's how we ended up getting our lot. And we are now starting our process in building our house. As you can see, yung dati ko siya na itagalaw kasi we are still in our designing phase. That so, will be another episode. Hopefully, we get to finish that soon. But we have developed or decided. I think marapin na siya matapos. And we're just gonna sign off on it, I guess. Parang sobrang little quick works na yung papalitan. But yeah, our whole team is working on it. And we're very excited to like share this with you guys. The point of this vlog is to show na abot kaya, kahit sakto lang yung earnings mo, yung kita mo, yung savings mo, you can actually build a home. And kaya lang man ako matapang magpatayo dahil yung sa experience ko sa restaurants eh. So yun guys, that's why we made this new vlog. No? Meron na kami sariling vlog ni Trixie na Tigisa. So mine is at Chef Edward, hers is at that girl Trixie. We wanted to make this para pa- to encourage people na kaya nyo rin magpagawan sa rin yung bahay, kaya nyo magumastos, you just need a proper team to help and support you. Yung gasos na yun, unti-unti lang naman eh. Isang, hindi yan isang bagsakan. It's scary but it's a whole lot of adult things. 